Here in the kitchen of Pujol, one of Mexico's and the world's best restaurants, corn, the country's culinary staple, is the star. But exclusive eateries like this one, both at home and north of the border, don't just take any old stuff. Mexico is the country that gave the world corn, and restaurants like Pujol are showcasing some of the unique native species that have developed in Mexico over the past 9,000 years. Maize like this looks nothing like the sweet corn in your tuna sandwich, and it's a culinary treasure. But it's an increasingly tough life for the small farmers who produce it, and without help, these amazing mazes are at risk. Chefs like Pancho Ibanez at Pujol are determined to stop that from happening. Si dejamos perder todas estas variedades de maíz, vamos a perder parte de nuestra identidad. Es como cortarnos los pies, ¿no? Como quitarle las raíces a un árbol. Es como el hecho de tener en algo que podría, podría parecer tan simple o tan básico, tienes tu pasado, tu presente y tu futuro. Ricardo Flores has been farming these lands in Tlaxcala, in central Mexico, for four decades. His corn cobs are ready to be stripped off the dried stalks and harvested, a process traditionally known as the pishka. But it's been a terrible year for him. A severe drought means Ricardo will produce only one and a half tonnes per hectare, just over a quarter of what he can expect when there's enough water. And that's only one of the problems farmers like him face. Pues casi la mayoría se va a buscar trabajo por otros lados. Hay muy pocos los que están aquí con sus familias trabajando. Pero es por lo mismo que ya no es costeable el campo. He grows what's known here as maíz criollo, native corn, not the so-called hybrid crops grown on the big mechanized farms in northern Mexico that have been improved commercially through selective breeding to produce bumper yields. Genetically modified corn is not currently allowed to be grown in Mexico. But without farmers like Ricardo, who produce about 70% of all the corn grown in Mexico, some native species could find themselves fighting for survival. Martha Wilcox, who works at Simit, an independent research station, is battling to stop that threat. Mexico is home to 59 unique so-called land race varieties of maize, that have developed over centuries to suit individual soils and climates across the country, as well as Mexicans' tastes. For me, the major risk I see to the preservation of native maize in Mexico has to do with immigration of children of farmers. It has to do with the farmers who are growing that maize becoming older, and it has to do with this, the economic um, it, with the ability to, to earn a living on very small farms. But help is at hand. Gourmet restaurants in Mexico and in the US are giving this native corn a new lease of life. By opening new markets for these ancient varieties, celebrated chefs are providing a valuable source of income for farmers while delivering fair trade delicacies to their diners. But for chefs in America, getting the corn can be a challenge. A U.S. company, Macienda, has started buying heirloom varieties from small-scale producers, mostly in the south of Mexico, for restaurants north of the border. Rick Bayless is a celebrity U.S. chef. His flagship Frontera Grill in Chicago serves the kind of creative Mexican fare that he showcases in his TV show, Mexico, One Plate at a Time. He's a native corn enthusiast. One of the women that makes tortillas in our restaurant came up to me and she said, este Huele a mi pueblo. This smells just like the town I grew up in. And that made me really happy because I knew we were on to something to bring that corn in. For Mexicans, corn, not wheat, is the staff of life, past, present and future. But opening new markets for these ancient varieties is the very modern challenge facing small producers across the country as they strive to keep their tradition and culture alive. Jude Weber, Financial Times, Tlaxcala, Mexico.